Okay, let's take a look at the foot and the ankle, okay? So we take a look at the foot or ankle, or the complexes we're looking at here, both of them. Our ankle is made up of seven bones, okay? And of course, the fancy word for ankle bones are tarsal bones. So as I take a look here from the medial aspect of the ankle, I can see this one tarsal bone is more superior than all the others. This is that part of the ankle that's going to actually articulate with the inferior epiphysis or the distal epiphysis of the tibia bone. This is your talus, okay? So the talus is going to articulate then with the tibia. Now if I go anterior to the talus, I'm looking at this bone right here. That bone is your navicular, okay? The navicular. You can actually palpate part of that navicular bone in the medial arch of the foot. I'll show you how to do that in class if you want. Now if I go anterior to the navicular, I've got a row of four bones. I've got one, two, three, four. Three of these bones actually articulate with the navicular themselves. One of these bones, you'll notice, is a bit more lateral. These three bones, the more medial of the three, we call those bones cuneiforms, okay? And we can call them one of two things. We can either go medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiform, or we can call them your first, second, and third cuneiform based on the number of the metatarsal that they articulate with. I go lateral to my third cuneiform and I come over to this bigger one. That is your cuboid. And you'll notice the cuboid then articulates with this big giant bone that you would commonly refer to as the heel bone. And this big bone that I'm grabbing here now, this entire thing, is your calcaneus. So there's your seven bones of the ankle. Calcaneus, talus, navicular, first, second, third cuneiform, and your cuboid. Okay? Now, in the foot, we've got five metatarsals, whereas in the hand we had five metacarpals. Once we get distal to the metatarsals, we've got 14 phalanges, the same as we do in the hand. So I've got my first, second, third, fourth, and fifth metatarsal, starting with the great toe or the hallux and moving laterally. And then I've got in the great toe or the hallux, I've got a proximal and distal phalange or phalanx. And then on digits two, three, four, and five, I've got a distal, a middle, and a proximal phalanx. So for lab, you should be able to tell me that right now I am pointing to the proximal phalanx of digit four of the right foot. Or you could call it the fourth proximal phalanx. This would be my second metatarsal. This would be my fifth metatarsal. This would be the distal phalanx of digit two. And that's how we talk our way around the foot. Okay?